tryna get this money. Yeah. You push this money, now my gang and tryna get this money. Hey yo man, shalom, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your boy Mtuzi, welcome back to Mtuzi's Music Corner. As you can see by the title, you know, doing things a bit different today. Um, please like and subscribe before, you know, but yeah man, we are here. Um, as you can see by the title, you know, it's, we're doing things a bit different today. Um, it's a get to know me type of, you know, video, obviously. Um, obviously, the, the music edition, you know, I mean, I can't do a personal one. I mean, like, I'm not... Not much of a big deal, bro. To be like, hey, nah, you know. So obviously, after after the few questions that I'm gonna ask myself, because you know I love myself like that, you know. So yeah, man. Whoever is interested, whoever is watching this, obviously. Um. So yeah, it's a music related edition. So I'm gonna get into why or what does music mean to me, you know. Um. Also, um, you know, my music influences, you know, how I got into music, stuff like that, you know. So, first question is, what does music mean to you? Man, music is everything to me, bro, you know. So, I legit, dog, I'm a homebody, bro, to be honest. So, I enjoy my own space, you know. I like being in my solitude and chilling, you know. So, I, I don't really think that I'm a misanthrope, but I don't really enjoy being around people that much. You know, I just, I like, I like my own space, dogs. Kind of like use music as a, as a coping mechanism, you know. Obviously, people have different ways of, of um, you know, coping with certain stuff, like you know, stress or whatever. People resort to weed or drinking or whatever, you know. I kind of like, you know, just resort to music you know i feel like music for me is everything bro it means everything to me you know so yeah dog i'm, I'm a homebody you know so <laughs> yeah so for me kind of like you know use music as a as a solace to kind of like you know just chill you know and enjoy myself and you know be in a dark room and just listen to music you know i've always been doing this from a very young age you know that's how i cope with stuff so um, obviously, I'm not like someone that really op opens up a lot to people, whatever, you know. So, like, you know, just keep shit to myself and listen to music. Yeah, so yeah, that's what music meant to me, or that's what music does to me. Also, like, cures, you know, whatever that I'm going through. So, yeah. How did I get into music, man? Um, or oh, my music influence from a very Christian family. So, I grew up listening to gospel. Um, shout out, I almost said shout out. RIP to all the same, obviously. Um, but yeah, my dad is into I don't even think my my yeah, my dad is into reggae, so I obviously there was reggae music that I was playing at home, you know. Listened to the likes of Peter Torch, listened to the likes of Burning Spear. Um funny enough, I've never actually had my dad listen to Bob Mali. I mean like Bob Mali is, is kind of like synonymous with with um, you know. He's kind of like synonymous with reggae, so but my dad, I've never actually had him listen to to to, to Bob Marley, but anyway, and then my mom was, he's more into the softer side of music, your ladies' night, you know, your um, your uh, your ladies' night, you know, your Al Green, your Shade, you know, softer side of music that are like you know, old school soul ballads or whatever, so. Your Shaka Khan, you know, so obviously I'm a very uh, big radio person, dog. So obviously also, you know, every time I go for, I, I come back from school, so my mom always listen to radio or my dad or whatever. And then I always like listen to this jazz show. I think on Tobola FM or I don't know, I can't remember or Jagaranda FM or whatever. So they used to play this um, jazz show where that's how I, I kind of get to know of the likes of Don Naga, um, you know, your Jimmy Kudu, your Jonas Kwangwa, you know. So yeah, just I kind of like, you know, my music I bring a variety of music, you know. So from jazz to reggae to R&B, and obviously, um, you know, shout out to my 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 big sister, I mean, my my big cat. Shout out to my cousin Dipo. She used to come around in the late, late 90s, bro, like 82,000. She's always listened to RB, like on weekends, you know. Um, she'd listen to Monica, she'd listen to uh, Bo, uh, Alia, she'd listen to, um, you 
you know, Tamia. And then I was like, yo, man, obviously I was very young by then, but you know, I mean, I mean this, this music is really nice. This type of music is really nice. But I didn't know what it was, obviously, you know, but I just kind of like enjoyed the Sonics, you know, content I didn't know what they were talking about, but obviously, you know. And then, so yeah, uh, third question is first song that I've ever listened to. Uh, it's from my goat, my nigga, man. Kid Sweat, uh, Twisted. I mean, my dad used to come with, with my uncles and they just chill outside. And yeah, in the late 90s, and then they'd listen to, um, obviously, he used to also listen to RB, you know, you'd listen to your Al Green, you'd listen to your um, Kid Sweat. That's how I got to know of Kid Sweat. So, and I mean, like, the song Twisted is kind of like synonymous with, with black people. You know? If I come up to you and be like, you know, you know, uh, uh, you probably know which song I'm, I'm, I'm talking about. So, yeah, um, that's what, that was my first song, first song ever that I listened to. I just like the Sonics, you know, and it really kind of like grew on me. And yeah, man, you know. So, my favorite artist of all time, yo, I think everyone that follows me on, on Insta or on Twitter kind of like knows that, yo, man, Kiss Red is my favorite artist of all time, you know, probably because of that song and also just the fact that he makes great music, but it has so much replay value, you know. Um, also, I feel like it's, it's really great that. He still makes music now you know he takes um i think takes pride in his craft you know so yeah man i really like i like um i like his music i like i relate to his music also you know i mean you know <laughs> so yeah i relate to his music you know so yeah man my favorite album of all time it has to be this, this one is a bit tough right to be honest but i think um it probably would have to be um because i'm a very big radio person dog i grew up listening to um to 5 fm i mean like right now i don't really listen to radio because it's diluted with all this wanna be influencers or whatever but i'm not trying to know of anyone bro like you if you have to fake your way into getting your bag or whatever do that shit, dog you know but yeah but i listen to i used to listen to the likes of uh, kb uh, Rob Bemba, you know, Anele, Grant, you know, so um, that's where I kind of like got to know of um, Zebra and Giraffe, yeah, so my, the album, the debut album, Collected Memories that dropped in two, 2008, that album was just something else, right, was, I've never heard something like that, you know, obviously coming from my jazz background to um, also, you know, R&B background, the gospel, and then to just for I'm like, yo, this this is really you know different, you know, the the this hard snares, the guitar reefs and everything. I'm like, man, I really like this, you know. So I, I had that album on repeat the whole my metric year, man. So I'm like, you know what, man, I really like this shit. So it's mostly it's more mostly for for the just for the um, nostalgia, you know. So yeah, man, and then my current listens. I'm um, kind of listening to, um, shout out to my Nigerian people, kind of listen to uh, Wizkid, uh, it's made in Lagos, yo man, that album, that album, they replay value bruh, sonically man, yeah, I'm kind of listening to uh, Made in Lagos, uh, shout out to uh, Wizkid, I'm, I'm also listening to Java, I'm not about the EP that dropped last year, and then I'm also listening to, um, Aries, listening to uh, also MT. My favorite song at the moment is probably between Java's Maduze or Jare from Wizkid, you know. And current listens, I'm currently listening to um, just niggas from Pretoria, to be honest, like niggas that are still bubbling under your Miles, your Tato So, your Bessa Faro. I'm not sure if I think Bessa Faro is from. I think it's from um Kempton Park, but anyway, yeah, I'm still yeah, li I'm listening to him, uh listening to Lucky, uh just yeah, niggas from obviously my younger brother also, you know. So yeah, man. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know. Um so yeah, please like and subscribe. And yeah, man, shalom. I'll see you guys in the next video.